Okay, I'm ready. You know what this is about? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not my workplace? Yeah, How disorganized it is? <laughs> it is about your workplace. Okay. All right. I just want you to look around mm -hmm. and grab things around your desk that are mm -hmm. important to you mm -hmm. and just say, why is it important to you? Mm -hmm. And maybe what you learned from it. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. So this is interesting things I haven't looked at for a long time. This is Mr. and Mrs. William E. Lovett table number one. So this is my my dad's retirement when he was 59. This was back in 1989 when I was over in Pakistan. And so I just remember and appreciate my dad, remembering him. When I was going through his stuff, which you never, you know, my dad saved everything, but this was this old knife that looks like it's kind of made out of sheet metal. It's not even really a heavy metal here. And this was made by my great, great grandfather, Miller, on my dad's side. So it was passed down through like, this is the fourth generation knife. As remembering my dad and family, he didn't buy it from the store. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so this is, again, this is my dad when he actually retired and they gave him a gift in honor of 30 plus years of service. They didn't give gold watches, they gave him this. And so it is a barometer for the weather, a thermometer for the temperature, which is actually at 62 degrees down here, so it's chilly. And, um, and it says here, William E. Lovett, Exxon upon retirement, July 1st, 1989. So this was, so when I was remembering my dad and my family was getting rid of everything, I grabbed this and thought I'll keep this down here. So that's what that was. <clears throat> okay, this is, this is a little mural of fishing. And it says here, worm thoughts, and best fishes on Father's Day. That is a good corny line for a dad. And this was from Ava, my, our, my granddaughter, who's 11 years old. So a few years ago, it was probably from Rachel. Um, and they know I like to do fishing. And so I thought that was cool. So I got this here hanging up. And um, let's see here, I've got Oh, and then over here, this is, this is, of course, you can know who. So when we got the news of, of Will's birth, I went online and thought, is there something I could get that would be kind of cool and different? And I found this little, what do you call that? One C, is it? Yeah. And one C. And it says, mom and dad equals me. I thought that was cool. Anyway, this was a gift from my staff when we had our 50th, my 50th birthday. That's a cool memory. 50 years old, something from Tajikistan. This one was from Tajikistan. Well, the frame is. So this was a gift from our staff, or one of our staff from Tajikistan. And we had come back in 1998 to visit. So that's a picture of us as a family. We were back that time, and um, yeah, it was just a really cool, challenging, I think in a lot of ways it was good memories, being in Tajikistan, living there, working there as a family. I mean, that's where you grew up, that's where Rachel grew up. I mean, I've got tons of photo albums, but that's your mom after we got married, where she's horseback riding. And these here were in Tajikistan, you guys were rolling up corpachas and wrapping around yourselves and I guess banging into each other. That was fun. And then the other one is the swimming pool we had in the bottom of our, or in our backyard that was full of muddy water, but you guys had a wonderful time in it, I guess. And then another one here was, um, this is when Rachel and Josh had little Ava. So she was a little kid, little baby here being held and so that was special and then fishing yeah i've got a well, got a lot of fishing experiences and 
videos and that was a special time to be together sometimes you and I hanging out and, and fishing there and and um, uh, this is a picture printed out by you probably you made this big huge but this was 2012 probably the last time my whole family was all together like this so there's my brothers here my brother Bill and his wife and brother Tim and there's Becky my sister Becky and then Sue is there, there's my sister and then my mom. So this was a year or so after my dad died. So this was a special time, but there's Rachel and you're over here, Justin. And then a lot of nephews and nieces and yeah. So that was, that was a very special time to be together. My little certificates, I don't put up normally my, I, I do have a BA, I do have an MA. I haven't put them up anywhere. They are buried away in some file someplace. But this represents more of my last few years. I'm trying to keep upgrading my own learning and training. And so I went through what's called a coaching mastery certificate program. So I'm about to go and get my final accreditation with the International Coaching Federation, which is means you've done at least 100 hours that you have to be supervised, you do an exam. So I like that. I'm like enjoying doing some other new things. Um, and then this is intercultural intelligence training. So it's another thing that I'm exploring and wishing I had had that training 20 years ago. We could have been using it a lot. And I've that sort of works towards also I'm creating a website. And lastly, this is a picture of my dad and mom. And I value this picture because it's reminding me of so many times I've taken for granted what my parents did for me. They were there all the time. They worked. They met my mom. When I was a little kid, changed my diaper. But they were always there, always supportive, always helping us. And I think as I've gone on more, I've, I've really come to appreciate good qualities of my dad and mom and their love, and I want to hopefully still emulate that, follow that. They really loved each other. Cool. Okay. Thanks. I'm glad we got that picture in. Yeah. That was nice.